Come on, stop faffing about. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming now. I'm coming. Just trying to make sure everything's right before we head off. Yeah, it'll be alright. Come on. Yeah, I'm here now. I'm here. I'm ready. Calm down. Jesus, George, you're in a good mood today. Well, it's a fun fair. Nightmare, that was. I don't know why you got me going there. Blacked out. <laughs> I know. I know. It's pretty funny now you think about it. Well, funny? One funny for me. What are you on about? It was hilarious. You blacked out on a, a small ride like that. You wouldn't be laughing if it was you. Uh, I think I would laugh, George. I'll be honest, I think I'd laugh. And I think you'd also laugh at me. Yeah, I'd laugh at you. Too right. Well, there you go then. You understand why I laughed. Ah, uh, fair play. Anyway, I made 50 quid out of it. Yeah, you did. I didn't even expect you'd get on. That's why I offered 50 quid. Thinking about it, I could have offered you 25 and you probably still would have done it. Probably. Anyway, what are we doing now? We're getting a couple of cows. Fair play. I thought you didn't want to spend any more money. Yeah, I know, but we've got all them sheds empty. It's a waste of money getting them if we don't get any cows for them. I have to agree with that, George. So what are we doing? Picking up a couple? Ah, uh, just a couple. Fair play. I mean, do you know what the plan is with the cows we got now? Are there any of them in calf? I know you were mentioning it the other day. I think they are, but vet's coming out tomorrow. So I'll be able to tell you exactly. I'm hoping all six of the cows are in calf. Yeah, that'll be good, George. I mean, we'll have an extra eight then if we buy two today. Ah, right, that's the plan. Are we getting milkers? Or are we getting some beef stock? We're going to get some more milkers. Don't want to go on the beef stock yet. I want to try and buy probably 20 at a time with that, but I haven't got the money for that yet. We'll do that, though. Don't you worry. We'll get that done. Well, that is the shed that you're on about this empty. I know, I know. Right, uh, what do you want me to do? Just wait here while you go in? Yeah, I'll sort it out. You just do what you're good at. Doing nothing. Hey, that's a bit harsh. ha, ha, ha. Jesus, George. Now well, let's just go. A little wonder while he sorts that out. He hasn't been his normal upbeat self since he's been on that ride. He's been really grumpy with me. He's blaming me for it. Well, to be honest, you know, it was his decision. I gave him 50 quid, he got on it. It's not my fault. Anyway, it was hilarious. I don't regret anything. So yeah, I mean, today I haven't really got much on. I'm just going to do this with George and then head back. I was thinking of doing some muck spreading. And then uh, I brought all the bales in, so they're all sorted. Got quite a few now. And uh, yeah, we do need to pick up the uh, mower at some point. But uh, I think George hasn't decided yet what he wants to do, if he wants to wait it out or pick it up. But either way, I'm going to fork out eight grand. So I'm sure, I think that's why he's delaying it, to be honest. Wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, we'll wait it out, see how long this takes. Shouldn't take too long. He says he's sorted it out prior, so they'll be there waiting. You went with Brown Swiss then, George. I thought, why not try something different? Got plenty of Holstein, we may as well get some Brown Swiss. Just as good. Ah, fair play, George. Two Brown Swiss, and you never know. If we get them in calf in the future, I'll have some more. Well, that's the plan. That's the plan. Hey, have you decided about the mower yet? What you want to do? Um, I'm not really fussed, to be honest. You haven't mentioned it, so I haven't really thought about it. You've been for it. I was waiting for you to say something. Oh, uh, no, I, I, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? You've got fork out eight grand. Oh, I know that, but I thought you'd decide. Well, should we just go with the, the Pottinger, then? Yeah, go with the Pottinger. It's still a good deal. 
Yeah, it is. Right, well, I'll sort out then. I'll ring up the dealership and uh, let them know. Yeah, you do that. You do that. It's what I pay you for. <laughs> yeah, it is what you pay me for. I'll get it sorted. I'll ring them up and tell them we want the pottinger. Radio. Are we taking these straight in then? Ah, uh, go round. Drop them off. You've done the feed this morning, haven't you? Yeah, done all that, it's all sorted. Give them all the feed and pretty much uh, done everything really. All the all the jobs around the farm anyway. That's why it's what, is it eleven o'clock already? So I was thinking of doing some muck spreading after this. Do you want to just drop them off here and I'll guide them in? Yeah, do that, that's no problem. Radio. Right, well I'll leave you to it. You can sort this out. Yeah, I'll, I'll sort this out, George, no problem. Right, so we've got two in here. There we go, just jump up here quickly and I'll show you. Uh, two female brown Swiss. I'll put them in with the, the six Holstein and the bull. And hopefully, we'll be producing a little bit more milk, which is good. I know George is hoping that some of them are in calf. I'm hoping they're all in calf, to be honest. Six of them. Here's the vault. Living the dream, all of them. Got plenty of feed, put another bale in. Uh, let me just quickly show you the hay bales. Before we sort them out, won't leave them in too long, they won't like that. Yeah, so stacked all the hay in here. As you can see, we picked up quite a few. Definitely tie us over. Still think we need some more silage though. We've literally got one bale of silage left and we've got no straw. So we'll get straw soon. Canola's pretty much ready. Just waiting on George to give it the green light for me to head out in the harvester and do it. So hopefully that'll be today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow now. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much there. But uh, let's get these girls out, sort them out, get them in with the others. I'm sure they'll be happy then. I think that'll do that. Just quickly jump out, disconnect this. We'll leave this. It definitely needs a good clean. I've been telling... George rages about this and he tells me it's, there's no point because cows will always pretty much do the business in there so if that's the case there's no point in me cleaning out so let's just quickly park this up we'll go have a look at them I've just put them in there and I know they've got plenty of feed so I'll park George's landy up and then we'll have a quick check on them just to make sure they're alright I mean, two cows, it doesn't seem like many, but when you've got six, that is a bit of an increase. But now it's eight. And the bull. So, nine. Really. Oh, they look all right, don't they? So, let's just have a quick sneak round here. Ah, look at them. They made themselves at home already. It'll be good to see more out here. We can also take some out in the summer. Um, it's like I said, it's not as important with these because they've got an outside bit. But when we've got a lot more, especially the uh, the beef stock, I want to start sticking them out in the fields. I'm uh, thinking about this field as well. I want to do some muck spreading. So we may as well start on that. This uh, is full. We've got a little bit in this and then quite a bit over there as well. So we've got some to get through, but we should probably put some down on the fields. Still haven't got any rain, but looking at, looking at the sky... It does look like it's on the horizon soon. I mean, we could ask him, he'll know. All the way up there. If it rains on him first, we know it's going to rain on us at some point. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this. I'm just trying to think which one head in. We may as well use the Massey. I mean, it is the top one. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, we're getting low. We're all getting low. That reminds me, I need to tell George to order some more. We haven't got much left in the uh, tank to fill up from as well, so yeah, it's just reminded me. Definitely need to tell George about that. But anyway, let's get some muck down. There we go, off we go. We do need to start looking at getting some new kit. I know George doesn't want to spend any money, but. It's vital we do now. We are a grass farm after all. 
Mo is a really important thing. The hay bob we can get by with. It's a bit small, but it is decent. The rose pretty decent as well. So yeah, we just need some. We need a way to do some silage as well. That's going to be important. I might have to hire someone in to help us out with that. But it's all down to George. That's the problem. See what George wants to do. It really is up down, just down to him. Keep trying convincing. I still think it's really important the uh, progress in that. And we're getting more cows, so they're going to consume more feed, and they and they do like silage, so it's important to get some silage for them, especially silage. It really is. Shifted some good muck here. We get a bit of rain as well. It'll do this field the world of good. And then we've got the other two fields to, to tackle. We've got a little bit of fert left, so we might stick that down at some point. As well. We'll just try and get by. We're not going to be cutting it yet, so we've got quite a few weeks before we even need to worry about it growing. I shouldn't take too long in this field. Hopefully. Maybe two loads will do it. There's plenty of muck over there. Not, not as much as we probably need for the the fields, obviously. There's definitely not enough for that, but we can always uh, use vert. Might have to tell George, though, that we need to buy some more, so <laughs> that's uh, not something I'm looking forward to. So fingers crossed I can do that and catch him on a good day. To be honest, though, He's spending 8,000. He's just spent a bit of money on cows. Maybe when he blacked out, maybe it changed him. Maybe, maybe he doesn't mind spending money now. Probably not, though. Anyway, we're, we're empty now, so we can just uh, quickly get this ready and we'll fill it back up. Depends how much we've got, really. Oh, we need some fuel. Yeah, we're pretty much needing some fuel. Hmm, that might have changed our plans. I don't know how much fuel we've actually got. So, what I'm going to quickly do... Let's go and check that before we actually try and carry on in this field, because if we haven't got any... Then we are, uh, in a tricky situation. I'll get on to George straight away. Good thing about it is we can get it delivered pretty quick. Let's just check this out. Oh, we're empty. Yep, we'll have to stop for the day. I'll uh, I'll go park it up. I'll let George know. I'll get some delivered. It'll probably come tomorrow. Just means I'll have to carry on tomorrow now with the the muck spreading. That's not too bad. Got plenty other jobs to do. Boo! Bloody now, George, you nearly got me then. <laughs> yeah, you nearly did. Ah, oh, I thought I'd get you better than that. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. Anyway, what are you doing? I'm just uh, painting the Leyland. I've actually decided to bring her in and uh, change the colour, or try and just, you know, improve the paintwork. I thought I'd look after it, with it being my first tractor. I've actually painted the bottom half of it black. I think it will look better like that. Hopefully. Anyway, that's the plan. Um, a few bits that I've got to touch up. And then I am going to use the spray gun and properly do the blue. So I'm hoping by the end it'll look perfect. Did you get the fuel sorted out? Ah, it's all sorted. We'll be here tomorrow. That's good then. I'll carry on in the field then as well. Um, do need some spare parts soon for this. I need to do the service. It's getting to that point when probably going to cause us a few issues I've, I've looked at it it just needs normal kind of service so i can do that if we get the parts ah no problem head down to the store whenever you need do it get the parts put it on my tab and uh, i'll sort that out nice one george anyway i'll carry on with it well i've actually got a bit of a plan if you're up for it um yeah i can do Should we go out here ah uh, what have you got planned? Well, I think you're going to like this, but I'm buying something. You're buying something else already? I am. So my mate Keith... My mate Keith? 
Who's Keith? My mate, Keith. You know Keith? No, never never heard or seen off Keith before in my life. Oh, well, he's my mate and his name's Keith. So, my mate Keith, he's got a slurry tanker. It's battered, but it'll do the job. <laughs> it's battered, but it'll do the job. Okay. Um. So, are we buying this off him then, I guess? Ah, we're buying it off him. He has got a newer one. That's battered also. He doesn't really look after much, Keith doesn't, but it's it's good enough for us on the farm. Well, we can head down now if you want. Go have a look at it, and if it's good, I'll pick it up and we'll uh, bring it back. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a decent enough idea. We definitely need one, George. I think that that is a, a must item for us at the moment. I know, I know. It's top of, me, top of my list anyway, when we get that mower as well. Ah, did you sort the mower out? I haven't rang them, George. I forgot all about it. I'll get that done. Oh, come on, Scroft. Stop faffing about. We need to get that. I know, I know. We will. We, we have given the bales and everything, but... We'll sort it out. I'll get it sorted tomorrow, definitely. Um, we need to pay the eight grand as well, so you're going to have to come up with me, George. Yeah, that's fine. You just let me know when, and we'll head up and get it. All right, and George, let's let's go see Keith, I guess, then. Let's go see him. Get this slurry tanker. We'll have the mower in a few days, and then yeah, we'll be well, I guess. All right, what are we going in, then? We'll go in the mass if you want. Uh, we can do, but it's probably too low on fuel. Ah, all right, and um, ooh, I'll have to go in the Ford. Your Ford? Ah, my Ford. Who's driving? You can drive. Oh, Jesus! You must be desperate. Right, well, I'll I'll hop in and we'll we'll drive down then. How are we doing for fuel on this? Ah, it's full. It's because you never use it. Hey, I use it enough, thank you. Well, you should probably clean it a bit more. Well, I do pay you for things like that. <laughs> right, well, is, are you basically asking me to clean this, then? Oh, I think you should do. Not the kindness of your heart. Right, I'll give it a clean then, George. I've got to clean the, the Massey off as well. And we need to clean that animal trailer off big time. Well, I've told you there's no point. You're just pooing it. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yup, what's going on here? Tony again faffing about outside our place. Let's keep to his own. Well, technically this track is public. Yeah, well, keep away from my yard, I'm telling you that now. I know, I know, he will, don't worry. We haven't had any grief off him, so I don't we need worry. Right, where am I heading? Uh, we need either go right here or right to the next one. All right, and let's go right at the next one. Are you driving past Mix then? Kind of. It's a little out the way. He's a rake, Keith is. He's just a bit strange. A bit strange? What do you mean? It's hard to put into words, let's just say it that way. Okay. Hard to put into words. I'm intrigued now. Keith, yeah, you never mentioned him before. I probably have, you just don't listen. I'm pretty certain you haven't mentioned him before, but all right then. Left ear. Left ear, all right then. Right, just follow this track all the way down. Two gates, and I'll let you know then. All right, then, mate, will do. Blimey now, George, look at the size of that field. What's that, sorghum? I think so. We wouldn't have an Oaks and Elves chance at that. I don't know, George. I quite happily sit and harvest that field, I'm telling you now. Anyway, come on, crack on. We haven't got all day. Right, where am I going? You're missing it. Turn right. Turn right? I rate them. Blimey now. It's a little tidy up. What a mess here, isn't there, George? Ah, uh, that's Keith. <laughs> that's Keith. Right, what are we doing here then? Uh, just pull up behind the massy. All right, um, we'll do. We'll do. 
Just eat. Ah. Uh. Right, now let me do the talking. I reckon. Will do, will do. I'll follow you, George. Nice house. It's not too bad, is it? Oh, at least he's got a shower. <laughs> well, that's true. You need to get one. Well, I'm hoping you can help me out, but that's another subject. Oh, God. George! There it is. Here it is. You're all right, mate. It'll take you long. Up here. That's about it. Hey, we got it. Just over here. My God, what's he saying? I don't understand. Yeah, it didn't take me too long. Where is she? There she at the back. There. Just have a look. Right here, we'll go have a look now. See out the back. Yeah, we're to take a lot. Well, we'll go have a quick look and then we'll head back. Oh, by the way, this is me farm hands, Groft. Hey, nice to meet you, Keith. How's it going? Yeah, it's always hard, right? Just, you know, it's, 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 uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you anyway, bud. Nice to meet you. Right, um... Right, we'll, we'll be back in a minute. We're just going to have a quick look before we buy it. George, do you understand a word he said? What, Keith? Ah, you understand him? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I couldn't understand a word he said. Ah, you, you'll get his lingo. He's just, just a local. A local? Where from? Doesn't sound like anyone else around here. <laughs> Ah, oh, you'll get used to Keith, he's a right. Oh, I might need a translator. Anyway, this is what you're looking at. This is the one. Hey, it's not too bad. Good clean on it. I think the paint's sun-kissed a bit. Looks a bit pink, that does, George. I mean, that's the red, and that's the pink. Ah, uh, it's had a bit of use. I think if we give it a clean... It'll, it'll do the job. I mean, I mean, we can't expect much. I can't afford much, so he's doing us a favour here, Keith is. For how much I'm going to ask for. I'll leave that between you two. I couldn't understand if he said yes or no anyway. Well, I'm hoping he says yes, but I'll tell you, without telling you, it'll be a good deal. Well, I hope so. It is second-hand, George, and it's been sitting here a while. I'm... So the pump works and stuff like that. Well, we'll make sure that works. We'll definitely make sure that works. In fact, why don't you hook up to it now and just check the connections? And I'll go have a chat with him. All right, then. I'll do that. All right, let's just do what George says and just see if this works. I want to be taking something back that uh, doesn't even do the job, I guess. I mean, Keith... I can't understand a word he said. I don't know if you guys could understand anything he just said, but I ain't got a clue. Honestly, I haven't got a clue. Right, that should do. So let's hook her up. PTO went in fine. That works. Not bad. I'll put the hose in. They all connected really well, so what we can do. Open that valve, that's a good sign. So if it had something in right now, it'd work. Well, I'm happy with that. I think George will uh, he'll like that. I'll leave it there just to see what's happening. There's no point in me disconnecting if, if we're going to take it. Let's just go and see what they're on about. Oh, 2800, I'll take that. I'll tell you now, I'll take that. Let me just check with Scroft, see if everything's all right. Uh, I'm here, George. Yeah, everything's everything's fine. Seems seems fine. I mean, we've obviously got to put story in before we truly find out, but it, it seems all good. Ah, oh, spot on, Keith. Nice one. Twenty eight hundred. I've got that here for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, yes, dear one. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, thank you. I heard that. Thank you. Looks like we got a deal there, George. Ah, right, we got a we got a deal. Twenty eight hundred. Top man, Keith. Right, we'll take you with us now and let off. Here, see you. See you in a bit. See you. I tell you what, George, you know some folk you do. 
Ah, oh, Keith is sound, Keith is. Anyway, let's jump in and we'll head back, eh? We've got ourselves a nice slurry tanker. I'll give it a good check when we get back, George, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get it in the workshop and just have a quick look at it. I think that's a good idea, Scroft. Don't want to tell me any bad news, though. I only want to know good news. Yeah, will do. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll hide everything that's a problem or try and fix it before you know about it. Good man, good man. Hey, George, we're doing pretty well at the moment when you think about it. We are moving up in the world. Got a new mower soon. Got ourselves a slurry tanker that hopefully will work. Don't seem too bad. New farm. I mean, we're doing pretty well. Ah, we are. Time's looking good. Hey, up now, what's going on here? What's he doing there? Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop this vehicle now. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. All right, and George, but calm down. Don't I, don't I go crazy? Don't I want you blacking out again? Not the time for jokes. All right, then. Oi, you. Move your <laughs> from outside my drive. You're blocking me way. I'm busy doing work, something you and your mate wouldn't know anything about. Hey, calm down, everyone. It doesn't matter. It's just, you know, we, how long do you think you'll need, Tony? As long as I take. Nothing to do with you. I can be wherever I want. This is a public drive. Public drive? Public drive? You're blocking the entrance. Now move out the <laughs> way. George, calm down, mate. Please. <laughs> You're getting crazy. That's how he makes me feel. I'll sort this. Don't worry. Now, how long are you going to be, Tony? We'll, we'll, we can skip round, but we're obviously going to need to get in and out today. Does it really matter? All you do is drive around with the scrap on the back of your tractor like that. What even is that? Scrap? Scrap? I'll give you scrap. Just you wait. We'll end up scrapping me and you. George, go inside. Go on, chill out, mate. Go have a cuppa and I'll sort this out. Oh, God, it makes my blood boil. Ah, right, that's it. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. Just give me a shout, Tony, when you're done, and, and uh, I'll let George know. He's gone in anyway. George is going to blow a gasket if he keeps carrying on. He needs to chill out a bit. I understand, though. Tony shouldn't be parking there. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Anyway, let's... Uh, Park this up outside the workshop. I've got two things in there already that I need to sort out. Then i got this now on top. But uh, let's have a quick look. In fact, what I'll do, just to keep George happy, I'll go shut the gate. Don't want to find out he's out there scrapping with him. Makes my life easier. Less drama and all that. Anyway, it has been good on the farm. We've done quite a lot. Just spread some muck. Would have liked to have done a bit more, but we're waiting on a fuel delivery. Got a couple of cows. Doing some work on the Leyland. Do some work as well on the, the load all. And uh, we've got ourselves a nice... Well, I say nice, but it's nice to us because we haven't got one before it. But we've got ourselves a slurry tanker on the farm, which should open up quite a lot because we have got some slurry sitting there now. That is great news. And I think, you know what I think I might do before I do anything else? I'm going to join George for a cuppa. Just check he's okay. Mm.